something that I would suggest that you guys do. So yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I greet you all and I hope each and every one of you is doing well and I welcome you again to yet another video where I'll be analyzing uh, for you guys XAU USD, NAS 100, Euro USD, NZD USD, GBP JPY and the most anticipated and the most wanted VIX 75 us state and dxy obviously i will start with uh xau usd then i'll end there by the dollar index to check whether because less of the pairs that i have here are less correlated to the dxy i don't know if i should start with the dxy but i think let me start with the dxy to make things easier for you guys but i decided to uh, take less USD pairs. I'm listening to what you guys say. This is your channel. This is our channel. So we all working together in this. I feel like DXY is as simple and straightforward as we can see. Let's go to the daily time frame of DXY. DXY, all I want is for it to hit the support. Then after the support, we are going to be gone for life. After the support, we are gone for life. So basically, I just want DXY to hit the support. Then from there, we're gone for life. So there's nothing much I can look into on DXY, but to notice that I just wanted to go down to the support. So for the upcoming news, mind do we have NFP on Friday. So for the upcoming news, I don't see DXY going back anytime soon. So if it's like this, honestly speaking, on my utmost experience, guys, if we experience um, NFP having these market conditions, I would be happy because I will know that um, I'll have to take note of the following. Let me just write it down for you. Let me just write it down. I'll have to take note of the following. Of the following. Where's the text of the following? So if it's like this, if DXY, uh, if DXY decides to be weak, then USD first is a sell and then um usd second is a buy so simple and straightforward so if dxy decides to be uh, like this during the nfp so you just have to sell usd first and buy usd second so basically that is how it's going to be so it's just as straightforward as it is now that we're done with dxy now we can dive deep but at the moment if you can see dxy like this that means you are having a very strong and a very bullish xau usd it's a prediction that i'm making let's go see if it's exactly like i'm saying so the first pair that we or the second pair we're gonna be doing is XAU USD. So as you can see on an hour time frame, I don't even have to dive deeper. Sometimes beginners they confuse themselves by over analyzing. Guys, I'm done. <laughs> Just one line and I'm done. Just one line and I am done. I'm looking for buying opportunities and I've already gotten my confirmations from what. I've already gotten my confirmation from DXY, which is currently selling heavily. So I got the confirmations from the DXY. 
Now it's easy for me to look into any other pair with ease that has to do with um, that has to do with uh, the USD. So you know it's closely connected to the USD. Um, the gold in the gold uh, spot is closely connected to the unit to the USD. So moving right along. Because it's mostly, it's mostly sold in, in United States dollar. Moving right along, I'll look into NAS 100. This week is not the same as the other week. So I'm not going to say NAS 100 is also buying because this week is the NFP week. So NFP week, we always see things that are best friends are going against each other. So I'm anticipating NAS 100 to be declining heavily. Thank God, it's exactly like I've said. Um, as you can see, I'm experiencing what we call a a bearish flag. I'm experiencing what we call a bearish flag. So we had our our sells, and then we had our buys, yeah, and then. We're currently playing around, anticipating for the continuations to the downside, to the downside. So it's also straightforward. I'm looking for shots on um, NAS 100 and I wish it becomes long term shots. And also during the NFP, I wish NAS 100 can sell. I wish NAS 100 can sell. So right now, I wouldn't enter any trade. I would only enter a trade if we can break below the structure and then we're good to go. That's the only time when I would enter a trade on this. So we keep it clean and simple and we do not waste time on something that is easy and straightforward. So we can introduce further trend lines on this. We can introduce further trend lines on this. We can indeed introduce further trend lines on this and just give it a space to breathe. Give give this space, give this an opportunity to decide whether are we going for buys or we're we going for sells. It's a good time. So from there, uh, if I look at things like Euro USD, then you would actually know that Euro USD is buying after looking at DXY. So you would know that Euro usd is actually buying 100 <laughs> percent correct and 100 percent spot on so i'm teaching you guys to be friends with the dxy when you are friends with the dxy your life becomes much more easier so wherever you are right now if you are looking for something to trade and for a little bit of a long term you can have your you can have your euro usd it's a very good investment that you can have um have your stop loss exactly at the break below and then you take profit figure there at the top so it's a very good um investment that you can take at this time and moment so right now it is already broke and tested so we're just looking for continuations moving further up so i'm also going to expect the next pair that we're going to be doing which is nzd usd to be also buying nzd usd i'm expecting it to be buying the next pair we're going to be looking at is nzd usd i'm also expecting it to be uh, bullish at this time and moment <clears throat> The next pair we're going to be looking at is NZD USD. I'm expecting it to be bullish. As you can see, voila, it's also bullish. It's also straightforward. It's giving us what we want. It's giving us a good buys at the time and moment. Um, you can see the beautiful resistance turning into a support there and giving us what we want continuations moving further up so very straightforward we're looking for longs from this trade per se we're looking for longs moving up so there we are 
there we are very straightforward and very much beautiful so i'm done with the pairs that i think might require um dxy but let's look into us state first before we move to pairs that do not require me to look into the dxy so let's just check us daily uh, let us look into the us state and see what does it has in store for us so with us state i find it very much interesting to trade this i find it very much interesting to trade it find it very much interesting to trade it so i uh, do not know what's happening but i guess the only thing that we have to wait for it's confirmations as well um let's wait for confirmations let's see if it's able to push until here and then from there we have our beautiful overall cell structure and then we continue moving with the flow it's important that you move with the flow all the time you do not disturb the flow you just always move with the flow move with what the market is giving you uh, move with what the market is giving you at that time and moment so basically that is your that is your us state for you now let's look into something a little bit chilled which is gbp jpy uh, gbp jpy um gbp jpy <clears throat> we have uh gbp jpy um i'm looking for continuations of cells the reason why i'm looking for continuations of cells on gbp jpy is because it has been playing alongside two sides which is the resistance and the support so that has been seen in a couple of numerous times so i'm looking for continuations of um cells on gbp jpy that's the thing that i'm looking for at the time and moment and i don't see anything disturbing me from this vision at this time and moment so the last pair i promised you to do is vix the last Pair I promised to do for you was VIX 75 but I just check what's happening also on these indices they are very much complicated and funny but you guys trade them so why don't I spend my few minutes looking at, into them so I feel like everything is just the same um, there's nothing more difficult here you just look at the movement and follow the movement as it is so we are having a diagonal supporting trend line that has been tested so many times we actually are indeed looking for finding momentum to finally break and go to where and go to the resistance that was previously introduced to us so basically in the VIX 75, you always look for different things such as the W formation, the M formation, sometimes the N formation happens. So for example, here I can see that the W formation is trying to start. We do have an M formation there at the top. We do have a W formation here. So I would suggest that when you're trading VIX, you mainly look into um, you mainly look into these shapes that I've given you here. It's N W M or M W N. So those are the shapes that you are most likely to be looking at. And also I'd suggest that you only trade, you don't trade breakouts and whatever. 
you only trade support and resistance so those are the two things that i would say you must mainly trade when you are looking at vix with the way i'm looking at the chart and the way it is right now so that's something that i would suggest that you guys do so yeah i think i've summarized and analyzed most of the things and giving you guys some certain tips that you guys should use other than that, um, you guys are going to keep on getting uh, such uh, videos from me. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe and to comment and to keep all the bad comments yourself. Um, I don't need any bad energy on my channel. Um, I just need only good energy. There is a difference between bad energy and a critic that is constructive. So I just don't need any of that. Other than that, it's always got your mentor. I am signing out. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe and to share the video to all your friends and your loved ones.